you. Onto the calculations for our lab, which was the hand warmer design challenge. We came up with the procedure where we put some anhydrous salt in some water and we measured the temperature change of the water. It doesn't really matter how much of the salt that you use because we're going to divide by the grams used. And uh, the same for the water, it doesn't really matter because we're going to consider the mass of the water in our calculation. So you need to know how much you're using, of course. So the heat that is given by the salt is equal to the heat that is received by the solution plus the heat received by the calorimeter. And here we're going to make a simplification and we're going to say that the heat that is received by the calorimeter is negligible. Which means that it allows us to say that the heat given by the salt is equal to the heat received by the solution. The heat received by the solution we can calculate using MC delta T. And we collected the information um, necessary here. We know the mass 
the mass of the salt plus the mass of the water together is the mass of the solution. And this is 28.0226 grams. The specific heat capacity of the solution is given to us in the lab as 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. And the temperature change of the solution is measured to be 17.5 degrees Celsius. So when we calculate this amount, we get 2051.81 joules. And so the heat received by the solution is positive. The heat given by the salt is negative because it's exothermic, right? So the heat by the magnesium sulfate given by the magnesium sulfate is 2051.81 kilojoules. And so we used um, in this experiment uh, three 0 0.0634 grams of magnesium sulfate. And so therefore we can calculate the heat per gram by taking the amount of heat, which is 2051.81, and dividing by 3.0634 grams. And so this gives us uh, 669 Point three joules per gram. And we could also calculate it in joules per mole by taking the molar mass of uh, magnesium sulfate and so 3.0634 over 120.3 grams per mole and um, so that's going to give us 0 0.0254 moles. And so we could take the energy in joules and divide it by the moles, uh, probably in kilojoules actually, at 2.052 kilojoules, just because we're going to do this we get 80.79 kilojoules per mole. But I believe in joules per gram would be easier since this is probably what uh, everybody is gonna give their results in so that you can compare with your classmates. So in this, um, in this particular problem, we need uh, to increase the temperature of the hand warmer by 20 degrees Celsius. And this is about a volume that's about 50 milliliters, right? So the density um, of the solution is um, one gram per milliliter, which is the density of water. And so therefore we can take uh, calculate the amount of heat that it would require, uh, the amount of heat that the solution needs to receive would be, uh, therefore, the mass, which is 50 grams, times 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius, multiplied by a temperature change, a desired temperature change of 20 degrees Celsius. And so the heat would be 4,184 joules. So this is how much heat that the solution, 50 milliliters of solution needs to receive. And since we calculated that our substance generates 670-ish joules per gram, then we can figure out how many grams we need to increase the temperature by 20 degrees. And so 4,184 joules divided by 669.3 joules per gram 
6.25 grams. So it requires 6.25 grams of magnesium sulfate, which means that the hand warmer really would need to have uh, 43.75 grams of H2O, or, or milliliters of H2O. So that we have a total mass of 50. So for magnesium sulfate, 6.25 grams. Let's see how much that would cost us. Your lab says that uh, magnesium sulfate is $32.70 for 500 grams. So that's about 41 cents. So check with your classmates um, and gather the information that you need. Magnesium sulfate, look at its uh, risks to the environment and to people. And 41 cents seems quite expensive per hand warmer, so you may be able to find a better anhydrous salt to use. I'm looking forward to read your abstract. Thanks for watching.